Hey friends, Kimmy Fruits, your independent Cincy consultant here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning favorite, if you are new, thanks for stopping in and seeing what Cincy news I had to share today. Today, I have the Island Wax collection that I will be sharing. It is releasing today. I normally would like to get this up a little earlier than the day that the collection releases, but I've wanted to do this video for like 500 days and it's very hot. If you follow me on any uh, other social media, we still do not have air conditioning, hence this fan right here. Um, hopefully it's not too loud and hopefully my dryer that's probably going to die someday here in the near future isn't too loud as well. Appliances are just really giving me a hard time right now. I don't, I don't understand. The universe just doesn't, doesn't like our appliances right now. So, um, I digress. Island Wax Collection, it is releasing today, July 25th, around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, please check your time zones, obviously different for different time zones. I am in Eastern, so that is the time that I will always discuss. So, I have no idea when our air is gonna be fixed. Update on that. Um, I have a home warranty that came with the purchase of this house. I have literally been trying to get these people to get someone to come out here and look at my unit. Um, it's been a nightmare. I Every time I call these people, I'm literally on hold for 55 minutes. 55 minutes, like five minutes from an hour. I'm listening to hold music for 55 minutes. I mean, it literally is just, I can't even. Are you for real? 55 minutes you make someone wait on hold, even though they've already had, you know, a complaint before. So first time, 55 minutes on hold, I get a guy. Unfortunately, I really can't understand him. He has a thick accent. It's hard to understand. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to just listen, not be pissed off because I've been on the hold for 55 minutes, but also come on. So he opens a ticket for me. There's a deductible for this, which is fine. It's $110. Okay. So I give him a $110 payment. So he's like, I'm going to find someone to come out in your area. Puts me on hold. Does that like three times. He's like, okay, well they won't come out. Well, they won't come out to you or they won't come out to you or they don't service that area or whatever. No. So he finally is like, I've got someone who, who can come out. And I'm like, okay, cool. Great. Gives me their information. It's like, you have to call them and contact them. Just tell them you have this case number, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll come out to you. He starts giving me the phone number for this company. It's an area code in Kentucky where I used to live, which is like, oh, okay, that would be fine. An hour and 10 minutes back in Sellersburg where I used to live, but here in French Lick, he starts giving me the area code of this number and I'm like, no, they're not gonna come out here. There's no way. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, maybe they have a contract with them, something like that. I call this company, say this, hey, uh, my home warranty company told me you were the person I needed to call, blah, blah, blah. Can you come out to me? Where are you? I tell him I'm in French Lick. He's like, I don't go to French Lick. He's in Valley Station, Kentucky, which is over there outside of Louisville. The farthest away he goes is <clears throat> New Albany, which is like maybe within a 30 minute mile range radius. He's not going to come 70 miles to French Lick to fix my air conditioning. He's like, yeah, just call him back and they'll get you someone else. I was like, Like, I'm, he was nice and everything, I and I had no reason to be mad at him, but I was just like, oh my God, just call them back. No. So, um, they sent me a text, and they're like, hey, if you need more help, just text help. Well, I text help, and they're like, yeah, someone will be reaching out to you shortly. I went a whole 24 hours, and no one reached out to me. No one. Not a text, not an email, not a call, not nothing. So, the next day, I call him back and wait on hold for 55 minutes. <clears throat> um, I get another, I get a woman this time. She has an accent, but I can understand her a lot better. 
So she's like, oh, well, I'm going to elevate this to emergency status and blah, 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 since you've called in before and all this. Well, then she tries to find me a technician. Can't find your technician. Can't find your technician. And I'm like, okay, I must be a geographical freaking oddity because no one wants to come out here. Uh, great. So she's like, oh, okay, well, it's on elevated emergency status and... Uh, I have the case out there for someone to find a company to come out to you and they will send you an email once they find one. And I'm like, that's all you can give me? That's it. My air has been out since the 18th of July. You guys, it was freaking 105 over the weekend. I can put in I can put this in and they'll give you an email when they find someone. I know it's not her fault. I wasn't mad at her and I didn't treat her poorly before anyone is like, I can't believe you treated her. I did not. Trust me, I've worked many years of customer service. I know not that's not their fault. Okay, but the situation is very, very frustrating considering I paid for this warranty when I bought this house. I paid $110 already for a deductible. They can't find someone to come out here. You can't even find someone. I have like five local companies that I've been meaning to call last time. And I'm like, can you please just call one of them? But you know, they have to be on their network or their contract or their whatever. And apparently no one can or they're incompetent and they can't find anyone. So that's emergency status was put in Thursday at like noon Eastern time. It's now Monday the 25th. No one's called me. No one's emailed me. No one's texted me. No one gives a shit. So I still don't have air. So today I am packing up and I'm going to go to my parents' house. We're going to stay there for a few days because they're out of town right now and no one is at their house. So we're just going to stay there, just stay cool. And this is the last week before Ellie starts first grade at the new school here. So it's going to give them less of a commute. Everyone can sleep a little more. We can get a better sleep. Um, we do have a portable AC unit in our bedroom. It's the only saving grace we have right now because I don't know. I mean, I've been been getting terrible sleep anyway, but um, it would be even worse if my bedroom was 100 degrees. But um, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm finishing some laundry. I have to find storage for my bars because they've been sitting in my bedroom with the air conditioning on the only room in the house I can have them. They're in totes and coolers and all kinds of crap. So you guys, the first time, this is the second time I will say this, I have too much wax. The first time is when I moved it all. This is the second time I'm going to say it because I don't know what to do with it all. I moved a bunch of stuff around in my refrigerator. We ate up most of our food because we knew we were going to go down. We planned to go down to my parents' house. I'm going to stack a lot of ours in the fridge. I have a little mini fridge over here. I'm going to try to stack some stuff in. I have a freezer. I'm probably going to put some stuff in. I'm going to end up taking like two totes of bars with me to my parents' house so they don't melt. Like, this is money, guys. Like, I can't just let it go in the trash. Um, so, yeah. That's, uh, sorry, that's not the Island Days wax collection yet. But that's what's been happening in my world in the last eight days. Um, it's been hideous. I'm literally just trying to survive because right now I'm the only person that stays in the house when it's hot like this. They act, Ellie and Erin are, you know, she has summer camp, which they have air in the basement and he goes to work. So yes, he does work outside, but also he can be in his truck, which has air conditioning. I don't even have an option for air conditioning unless I want to sit in my bedroom all day, which I don't because I have, you know, things I, I need to get done like laundry and cleaning and dinner and you know life uh my business but um that's what's been happening um I'm not really sure I kind of just want to get my 110 dollars back at this point and call someone myself and that's probably what I'm gonna do because I really don't even trust who they're gonna call to come out here because they can't even find anyone so on to better things the Island Wax Days, that is 
that is why we are here. You didn't come here to listen to my rant, but if you did, thank you so much. And you know, thanks for understanding. And that's why I've been a total like, um, off my game and not as here present, if you will. So it's got five bars in this collection and you guys, I've had it for a little while. Uh, I wanted to do a video way earlier, but you know, situations arise. I am here now doing it. Normally, disclaimer, I normally don't like every scent that comes in a collection. There's usually one that is nasty to me or you know, one or two that I'm not a fan of, or I just I'm like, nah, it's not something I would warm. It's not a bad scent, but it's not for me. I really like every single scent in this collection, which makes my Scentsy Club edit very, very hard because I've had to pare down a lot. Like I tried to find a way to record like a Scentsy Club edit on my screen. I don't have the paid Zoom. I don't want to pay for StreamYard right now because I got to pay for an air conditioning unit. Um, gotta pay for school, gotta pay for this, gotta pay for that. Life, I don't have the extra money for that right now. So I've been having to pare my club down like crazy. So like these coming out, at least they'll be out for 30 days or 60 days before I have to like worry about clubbing them. <sighs> and I can use them. I'm planning to use them at my parents' house because I honestly, it's been so hot in here. If I melt wax in here, I can like barely even smell it. Like I'll smell it for an hour or two and then it's just so humid and hot. I can't smell it. So I, I haven't even been melting anything at all, which is sad, but is the truth. So our first scent we are going to discuss on the island days is a salted bergamot breeze. This one is nice, a nice blue wax. It's nice and fresh. Ugh, so when I first smelled this, it reminded me a lot of the March 2019 scent of the month, Make Waves, which was the first scent and warmer of the month kit that I participated in as a consultant. Oh, it's so good. It reminds me a lot of that scent. So if you enjoy that, you would really like this. It's not as strong as Make Waves. Make Waves was really strong, which I didn't mind that, but this is not as strong. Um, I would like to take the the bar out of the package and smell the bottom, but it's a little sweaty, so I'm, I am not going to take them out and get that all over my hands. But this is fresh and clean and aquatic. Very nice if you are into those salted bergamot breeze. Next we have this one was... The one I was looking forward to the most, it's Tear and Coconut. I freaking love Tear. I love Coconut. Oh my God. Love. It's so good. It reminds me of Coconuts for Coconuts. It's not the same scent at all. Um, I actually have Coconut for Coconut sticker here, so I'm going to sniff it. Yes, it does. It reminds me of that. They can be like sister scents. Coconuts for Coconuts is actually sweeter. It still gives you beach vibes, but this one's a little sweeter. Tea Air and Coconut is a little more floral, a little more perfumey, but it's like sun tanny and sun tan lotion and coconut and floral and beachy and just beautiful and pretty. Like, oh, guys, that is just so good. Tier and coconuts. Put the sticker back up here. We have driftwood and jasmine, which this color of wax is beautiful with purple. Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. I love jasmine. Um, most jasmine is, is very nice. It, if it's done well, with good fragrance oils, jasmine is very nice. It's soft and white floral. It can get powdery and it can get grandma on it really quick, but if it's done right, it's nice. And if it's mixed with the right things. This is so good. It it could be in the same vein as Coastal Sunset. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Coastal Sunset. This is a little sweeter, but I could see how they could kind of be cousins in a way. So if you like Coastal Sunset, you would probably really like the Driftwood and Jasmine because it's got like that creamy kind of musky smell. And then you get like the sun tanny, 
beautiful white floral. Oh, it's so good. It almost smells like there's um, there's a cream element in this, like a vanilla. I mean, it doesn't smell like a cake or anything like that at all, but it smells like a creamy base. You get that little woody note and then just a beautiful white floral. Driftwood and Jasmine. I think this would be a really great bedroom scent. <clears throat> Uh, next, we have Sunshine and Tan Lines. I was pretty excited. There's a banana here. Um, I hate almost every banana scent that Scentsy, that almost any company has, not just Scentsy, Bath & Body, anybody. I kind of hate banana scents because they smell like freaking banana runts. I don't want to smell banana runts. Like, as a kid, that was cool and nostalgic. They tasted good. I don't, I don't like them anymore. You know, I'm an adult. I don't want to smell that. It's just kind of sickening to me. It's so sweet. So I was a little nervous, but I was excited. This smells really good, you guys. Like, you get like a creamy, like, banana boat, banana sunscreen. I know I'm saying that with, like, all of them, but it's like a freaking island collection. So they're, like, supposed to smell like sunscreen, right? Like, And it's not like that cheap, nasty crappy sunscreen it's like ooh, that actually smells like a perfume sunscreen the good stuff this is so good you get coconut you get beach you get sun sun tanning oil you get that tiny sweet creamy banana god it's everything like i am super happy with this i was so scared with that banana on there i'm like oh my god is it gonna smell like sweet candy grody sickening no it's amazing guys I uh, love it sunshine and tan lines that one's really really good last but not least this one really surprised me this was the one I was the most scared of so I'm like ah, I don't know what that is gonna smell like um, it is star apple and freesia number one I don't even know what the hell a star apple is um, fruit I guess I'm assuming <laughs> there's a little fruit on here so uh star apple and free and freesia that's also one that can be very grainy and very powdery floral very quick if it's not mixed with the right things and if it's not done right so I was like ooh, this is gonna smell like powdery fruit no it honestly smells so good it smells delicious it smells like a tropical floral with sweet juicy fruit and you get like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of apple. And it's not like a fall apple. It's not a spicy apple. It's just like, it's a fresh, like you cut into a fresh apple and you get that like juicy, meaty smell. That's what it is. It's, this smells like it could be a perfume. I would wear this. It's like a tropical, almost like hibiscus, but sweet hibiscus, not like overly floral. Sweet tropical hibiscus with a little bit of fruit, sweet fruit, and a little back end of like a juicy apple, apple meat. Ugh, it's so good. Like, I was like, wow, I smelled this. I was so shocked. I'm like, that is not what I was expecting, but it is freaking delicious. So if I had to pick just off the cold sniff because I have not worn these yet, I did not want to waste them. Oh, this is hard because they're so good. Um, I would say Tear and Coconut and Driftwood and Jasmine tie for me for first place. I would say Sunshine and Tan Lines would be next. Star Apple and Freesia. And then Salted Bergamot Breeze would be last. But that's, it's not because it's not good or bad, but... I had to put one last, so that would be the one. Um, but, guys, this collection is beautiful. I highly recommend it. You've got five beautiful brand-new scents. They are tropical. They are, you know, everything this 105-degree weather we've been having is about. Um, so I'm going to enjoy them in the beautiful air conditioning at my parents' house this week. <sighs> It's going to be lovely. I can't wait to have my tropical island getaway in the air conditioning. It's the little things, right? Thank you guys so much for tuning in, listening to my rant. Uh, if you don't want to hear that, just, uh, you know, this is the end of the video. Fast forward 10 minutes if you don't want to hear that. Um, 
Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. You guys, this one, these bars go live at 1 p.m. today, the 25th of July, 2022. Do believe it's $24 sounds right $24 for the set you can get each bar individually though for six dollars so if one of them doesn't sound good to you don't worry you don't have to buy the set so as always if you have comments questions uh tell me what you guys think down below i will see you soon bye guys